So just yesterday, I had a lady that came into the store. She was in from out of town. Uh, her child had an appointment with Vanderbilt. Her child has autism. She was a 10-year-old girl, I think, 9 or 10. And when she found out that I had a child on the spectrum, you know, she started asking questions. But what really got me is when she had said, do you know how it happened? Do you know how does this happen? Like, what did I do? I'm like, what did you do? And she goes, you know, I was older when I had it, and my husband was older. She goes, I made sure I didn't take Tylenol. I didn't drink coffee. I didn't do anything. So here's a mom that her child's already nine, nine years. She's a decade into this almost. And she still thinks it's her fault that the child has autism. She still thinks, she's still living with the guilt that it was something she did, right? And looked at me like, tell me, how does this happen, right? And so I was able to grab her. I physically grabbed her with, uh, by the arms, and I looked her straight in the eye. I said, look at me. You had nothing to do with this. You did nothing wrong. We don't know why all this happens, but you did nothing wrong. And she kind of pulled away, and then I, I was able to say it again, and it's like something happened. She, like, she could breathe. You know, She was like someone just like took something from her. I, like... I, you know, you can't buy those moments. Like, and when I went to bed last night, I remember her face just thinking, I mean, that's vulnerable.